Cambodia's dating scene is very different from other countries, especially countries such as Thailand or the Philippines. If you are someone who is interested in hooking up or not looking for anything serious, then Cambodia is not the best place to be. Cambodian women are super cool, they're so friendly, they're amazing and they're beautiful, but it's important to note that the traditions and the culture is very different and they are very conservative. Therefore, hooking up or friends with benefits is not very common in Cambodia and it takes time for them to build their trust and get to that next level. But this is in general. Many expats and locals who are looking for that kind of fun tend to go to massage parlors and KTV places. I've been told many different things by many different people and it certainly is eye-opening. But what I gather is that many of the KTV places don't allow activity in the establishment. So that means that the workers go home with their clients. I also I also spoke to some travellers who said that the best way to have fun is to go to the bars and the clubs and meet other travellers instead of the locals. But you and I both know there are services that people pay for. The most popular dating apps in Cambodia are Badoo and Tinder, but also, as you can imagine, these apps are very popular with adult workers. Because of the culture and the conservativeness, it's very limited on dating apps in Cambodia, so you'll find that dating apps are not on the same level as, let's say, Philippines, Thailand, Vietnam, etc. Let me tell you a secret, I had a genuine incident last night. So I was sitting at home relaxing, thinking about what to do in the evening, and then all of a sudden I got a message on Badoo. Her profile seemed absolutely normal, nice photos, nice description, and she was in the area for a few days and wanted to meet some people. So I said to her, let's meet up for a coffee, and she said, Well, you know, I've got this hotel, it's a nice hotel, I've got a coffee machine, why don't you come here and we can have a coffee together? So I ordered a tuk-tuk, went to her hotel, and walked up to her room, and she opened the door with one of the most revealing dresses I've ever seen in my life. In hindsight, this was one of my first big warnings, but I didn't realize it at this point. So we got talking and the normal conversation come up. How old are you? What do you do? Where are you from? Etc. But when I asked that original question of what do you do? She says, I do this. I said, you do hotels? He said, oh, I, I meet customers. Oh, you sell? You sell rooms or design? What? She said, no, no, I do, I do this. Oh, right. I just come to see you for coffee. I didn't know that this was, this was work. And she was nice enough, very friendly, and it turned out that she was from Vietnam. And she used to do this in Vietnam and come to Cambodia to do the same. I did say to her, can I finish my coffee? And she says, no, because if I'm not paying, she needs to go to the, you know, the bars and get another customer for the night. So the long and short of it is just to be careful who you're talking to on these dating apps. The good news is, is that in many cities across Cambodia, many residents speak a good level of English. So if you are single, using your day game can work really well. However, when approached, many locals can be shy, so it's best to be respectful and friendly. Due to the cultures and traditions, Cambodia is a great place to go if you're looking for a long-term commitment. I've seen many expats who are living in Cambodia. They have a Cambodian wife and they have a Cambodian family, but this this is a big step. However, I would say to please take your time. Get to know her, her family, her culture, and also the way of life here in Cambodia. 